Hello, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will demonstrate on how to use Rufus to create a USB bootable offline installer for Windows 11. The prerequisite for this video is a USB flash drive with at least 8GB of space and a Windows 11 ISO file. Please note that creating a bootable USB drive will delete all your files on your USB stick, so make a backup if needed. I will start by showing you a way on how to obtain the latest version of Windows 11 ISO via the Microsoft website. Later in the video, I will show you a second possibility to obtain the Windows 11 ISO via Rufus. Open up your web browser and type, Download Windows 11. Click on the second link. You will end up in the website of Microsoft.com. I will leave the link in the description below. Under Download Windows 11 Disk Image, select Windows 11 and click on Download Now. Microsoft needs to validate your request, so this can take a couple of minutes. Select your language and click on Confirm. Click on 64-bit download to start the download process. This can take a while to complete, so I will fast forward this part. Now we have obtained a Windows 11 ISO file. Let's move to the second part, installing Rufus and creating a bootable Windows 11 USB drive. Open a new tab in your web browser and type Download Rufus. Click on the first link. You will end up on the website rufus.ie. The link will be in the description below. In order to make Rufus work with Windows 24H2, you must download Rufus 4.6 Beta. The older version of Rufus at the moment does not work well with Windows 24H2. For example, removing the requirement for 4GB and TPM 2.0 does not work with the older versions. Plug in your USB stick and click on Rufus to start the software. Under Device, you should see your USB stick name. Press on Select to mount your Windows 11 ISO. If you still don't have a Windows 11 ISO, you can download one at Rufus by clicking on the drop-down arrow next to Select, and then select Download. Afterwards, click on Download and choose your settings. Since I already have an ISO file, I will just mount mine. Under Image Option, leave it at Standard Windows Installation. Under Partition Scheme, leave it at GPT. Unless you have a really old PC with legacy features that does not support GPT, then in that case you should select MBR. Under Volume Label, you can name your USB flash drive. I will just call it Windows 11. File System and Cluster Size, you can just leave those at default. Let's press Start to create the Windows 11 bootable flash drive. At the Windows User Experience screen you have the option to Remove the Windows 11 requirement. Remove the requirement for an online Microsoft account during installation. Option to create a local account. Set your regional settings like time and date as the user you are currently logged in. Disable data collection questions. By disabling BitLocker automatic device encryption means that your device will not be automatically encrypted during installation by BitLocker. If you are content with your decision, press OK. A pop-up will appear to warn you that all the files on your USB will be deleted. Press OK if you don't need the files on it. Rufus is now configuring your USB with Windows 11. If you get by any chance during the beginning of the installation an error by Rufus regarding access to the device being denied, it usually means that you need to temporarily turn off controlled folder access inside ransomware protection. Let's dive back to our Rufus installation window. If the status bar is green, that means that Rufus has completed the installation on your USB stick. Well, that's it. Now you can successfully use Rufus to create a USB bootable offline installer for Windows 11. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Have a nice day.